Okay, great. This is, uh, we're lucky here to have the famous Herman H. Stern and uh, just asking him some questions. And the first question is, in your opinion, what are the most important elements in making a good movie? Well, I think first you need to have a good script and scripts are, uh, good scripts are far and are, are very difficult nowadays to have really good script writing. A lot of it has to do with, uh, they don't focus on the development of the character, they focus on the, the electronic effects. So you don't really see good character development any longer in movies. Uh, another part of that is, you know, the director is the key to this whole thing. Because uh, actors need to have need to have direction. Plus, the backup crew or the production crew behind them. You know, you you got to have good sound people and you got to have uh, good camera people, and you have to have an incredible editor. So when you're making a good movie, uh, these elements are really important. And finally, of course, is the actors that you select for the movie and they have to be in the moment when they're uh, doing their lines that's important that kind of segues into the next question and uh, how do you define what good acting is good acting to me is taking the written word and making it come alive with all the emotions that that writer has written. And a lot of it has to do with your inside feelings on what that character is all about. So you need to do a lot of character studying before you do the movie and, and uh, understand the scripts and understand where the story's going and, and to uh, provide the emotion that's required to deliver the lines. If you could recommend a movie for an aspiring filmmaker to watch, which one would you recommend and why? My very favorite movie, and it was way before I ever got into acting, but I've always remembered it, was a movie called A Man and a Woman. And what's interesting about that is that it's a French movie, and everything was in the French language, but the emotion the way they shot that movie was all close-ups in the faces of the actors and you could you could absolutely feel the the love they had for one of another one another and it was just good cinematography and a lot of it is uh, similar with uh, Scorsese when he shots his when he shoots his movies uh, you'll see a lot of close-ups on on the face and emotional reaction and and depth of the character and that kind of thing. As an actor, what is the best advice you could give for an aspiring actor? Practice, 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 and then practice. Go to acting school. Do acting workshops. Get the experience. Go on auditions. Learn how to do an audition. Learn how to cold read and develop the characters that uh, are required when uh, you're doing the auditioning. What do you think contributes to a successful shoot or film production? Going back again to the, uh, the production crew, they, you know, if, if, if the writer and the, and the storyboard writer put it together and the director follows the storyboard and you have good direction, good videography or filmography, uh, good sound people. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's like an ohana of movie making. Everyone works together uh, to develop a, a, a film that, uh, that's a product that they're all proud of. And this is our last question is, why do you think so many bad movies get made? 
going back to the scripts, it all starts with the scripts. And, you know, like right now, the biggest thing is 3D. Everything's got to be in 3D. Well, how about developing the story, develop the characters, find out what makes them, you know, breathe, what's, what's their emotional character, and, and, and having an ensemble that works, two people talking to one another with passion and depth. You don't see that much in movies any longer. Very good. I think that's a very good answers. Well, thank you very much. <laughs>